when elopements first started, it was because you were running away. <laughs> but now it's not that. It's, okay, I'm gonna go have this intimate moment. And this is about me, it's not about you. Did you guys have an original plan to have a traditional wedding or did you always want to elope? I've always wanted to elope. My whole life, my dad and stepmom, they eloped. They're a super solid couple. Like, just yeah. Amazing. I just felt like it was a lot more simple and genuine and romantic. Yeah. And I just love the idea of just having something really genuine and like, I am starting my life with my husband. It's me and him. I just wanted something where we could celebrate that and have like a really intimate and drama free, like no stress day where we could just focus on the commitment that we were making to each other. I still wanted to be sealed. Yeah. In the temple and have my family for there for that and like have a little celebration, not like a huge thing, but a reception for my family after. And yeah. When I got home from my mission, they changed the policy so that you didn't have to wait mm -hmm. to feel if you got married civilly first. And when they came out with that, I was literally like so excited. Yeah. <laughs> I didn't know how I was going to make my dream of eloping come true before that. Because I was like, I don't want an empty ceiling room. Mm -hmm. But I want to elope, but I probably won't be able to. But then they changed it. It worked super well for us. But, mm -hmm. you know, some people spend their whole life thinking about their dream wedding. And, yeah. And it's having like a beautiful reception is like what they want and I'm like that's awesome too but for me I just really love the idea of just having something super simple mm -hmm. and we ended up actually um eloping earlier than we planned we were gonna do it a week before our ceiling in December but then we were just ready to get married and yeah like a million things would have to line up perfectly in order for it to happen so we're like okay we have a place like nothing's stopping us from getting married right now and so um, we told our immediate family before we did it, a week before we did it. We called them. <laughs> Actually, no, we did it in person. We did it in person. We did it in person, even though they were in Colorado and Boise. We went to both places. Wow. So that time, for the most part, everyone was super supportive, and they knew we had wanted to do it for a long time. They were yeah. Really it was so nice. We just drove to his house. I ordered a little dress on Amazon, mm -hmm. and they had a bouquet of flowers ready for me, which... Like, we had no expectations of anything like that at all, but they had a luncheon for us, like, my bishop and his wife. They had the person who won, like, Cupcake Wars make us cupcakes. Wow. So <laughs> awesome. And it was so simple and cute. We got married. We had a little luncheon. Yeah, the whole thing table. was, like, an hour and a half to two yeah. hours or something like that. So wow. Super, like, no pressure at all. Like, uh -huh. just super fun like we we're just driving like jamming out in the car like we're gonna get married like, <laughs> so i just like was really surprised by like how much love i felt from corinne and from the people around me and from god as well like yeah so i was like I, I just feel like god's love and his spirit right now like just that he's so happy that we're able to finally do this and then when it was all over we just got in the car and we're like we're married. Like, <laughs> this is awesome. Like, we just got married. And yeah. it was just unreal. That day was, like, the most perfect day. Mm -hmm. That's amazing. So how did you even go about planning that? Traditionally, when you're getting married, like, you interview with your bishop a lot more. Yeah. Uh, as a person who will give you counsel and, like, help you through the, the process and just help you with general advice and things like that. Mm -hmm. And so we had gotten pretty close with him. And he yeah. did really well. And he was willing to do it. So we... Originally, we were looking at, like, how do we do it at a courthouse? But then, like, we should just ask the bishop if he would do it. And he was so excited. Yeah. yeah. He was, so cute. He was, was really like, cute. He's asking like, us. He's like, okay, I got, the, I got the whole thing printed out. Like, let's run through it right now. <laughs> <laughs> and, like, he was asking my favorite colors. He was just really excited about it. So we didn't do any planning. For the yeah. Uh-huh. Yeah. We uh -huh. asked the bishop to do it. And then they just put on a cute little thing for us. Um, we just showed up. It's yeah. <laughs> awesome. Yeah. No plans changed for anyone else. Like, we just added something extra for us. If people are, like, wondering, like, should I do it before? For us, it works super well and, like, perfectly. And I wouldn't change anything about how we did it. Mm -hmm. Both days were perfect. And just, like, yeah. everything we have hoped for. Yeah, so that is really cool. I just wanted to 
add on to kind of what you said about separating the two. Um, I got married last October, so almost six months ago, and I actually did kind of the same thing. I didn't elope, but I did a civil marriage and then the sealing like the next day. And so it was really cool to have that separated. And it just, yeah. so it's a way to extend that, but also yeah. slow things down. <laughs> so I was going to ask you, Parker, what was your reaction when she told you that she wanted to elope? When she mentioned it, I was like, let's do it. <laughs> <laughs> that was my reaction. I was like, sick. Like, if I don't have to plan a wedding, I'm <laughs> That's yeah. awesome. Because I, I always wanted to elope, but my mom is a wedding planner. So I feel like she would have been like very sad about it. I don't know. <laughs> Tell me about that. Like what challenges did you face and how did you overcome them together? <laughs> There's a family problem. Yeah, right. We had a lot of support, but it was really hard on some people. For me, I, I understand. I totally do. But at the same time, I tried really explaining to them that we're not taking away anything from yeah. The reception and the ceiling and the pictures and the food, everything is going to be the exact same for you. We're like, we're going to do this. We need to be honest about it and um, keep people in the loop. And so we told our immediate family there was some drama and there was some, some rumors, rumors and that, like that went around mm. and stuff like that. But we knew why we were doing it. Yeah. The people that matter and really know me and know my yeah. and have a desire to figure out why I did it, like, they'll know. Yeah. Everyone else who's speculating, like, they don't even need to know. It's like no one's business. It's true. Ours. And if, like, and they wanted to know, then they would ask you, right? Exactly. Yeah. You can't please everyone. I have divorced parents. I have spent a long time trying to please everyone, and it's really impossible. And yeah. on my wedding day, call me selfish, but I wanted to do something for myself. Definitely. And so, and so it's like... I feel like, you know, my wedding day is the one day where I can kind of get away with that. The overwhelming majority of people totally supported it, didn't ask questions, didn't even care. You know, mm -hmm. they like, that's so cool. You know, yeah. the overwhelming majority. The very tiny, like, 1% sliver of people that had a question or, like, were kind of weary about it. Like, you know, now we're on good terms with everybody. Yeah, you know? I feel like there'd be more hurt feelings if people found out that I kept it a secret from them. Yeah. And the fact that I did it at all. Why would we be ashamed or, like, why would we hide it? There's literally nothing to gain at all. And Love that. And really nothing to lose from, like, telling people, you know. Yeah. It really doesn't matter, you know. It's yeah. not about making everybody else happy or anything like that. It's about us and we know our intentions and why we're doing these things. And being open about it was, like, the best decision we could have done. After the civil marriage was over and everything, we were totally open and shared that with everybody. And yeah. Mm -hmm. just like, yeah, we're super happy to be married and we can't wait to have you at our reception definitely that's so cool oh my gosh i love the, this the full thing recorded not like the entire event but like the ceremony itself is yeah recorded. oh that's awesome our families and stuff, so. that is very smart <laughs> if you're thinking about it weigh out your options and if that's what you think you is good for you and you think that that's an option for you like do it. If it works and there's for you, so many versions it. of like eloping too. You could just it's have true. a like, really small one. You could have immediate family there. You know, we did it like just us, just us, which was awesome. Yeah, and I feel like there is this kind of stigma about elopements because when elopements first started it was because you were running away, <laughs> but okay. now it's not that. It's okay, I'm going to go have this intimate moment. And this is about me. It's not about you. And then we can celebrate later. You know what I mean? So. I didn't want to feel like anxiety. Yeah. Sure, everyone is enjoying my wedding day. Oh my gosh. It's so smart. I totally get like that. I just get anxiety with big events. Like, am I pleasing everyone? Am I talking to everyone? Does everyone feel welcome? Does everyone, you know? Yeah. And like, you just can't please everyone. Yeah. And it's not your job to. So I just did something for us that day, and it was really awesome. Oh my gosh, I absolutely love that. Cool. It's really cool to chat with couples that have eloped because I think so many people are afraid of doing it, and they just don't yeah. know where to even start. Yes. So a lot of people were like, when they found out, like, "Wow, you're brave." Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> you're like, "That's right." I don't know. I guess it is like brave in the sense that. It's different. Yeah, yeah, for sure. 
but like I'm sure once you did it you're like okay like everybody should do this yeah, <laughs> yeah totally. like, this is just how wedding should be <laughs> yeah Uh huh. Like the pressure off the reception. And definitely have a reception. Definitely like have a registry and make invitations and all yeah. that stuff. Like do it. You can still have like the wedding itself like separated um, from the marriage and like get married and be excited for that and then be excited for your wedding. You know. For sure. <laughs> all right. Well, thanks again for chatting with me. Yeah, I'm totally gonna story. follow you guys on Instagram and like follow your story. <laughs> I love it. Yeah.